Hello, hi. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of the energies of April that you should be aware of. And believe me, the you-know-what is going to be hitting the fan for a lot of people. And it may be in ways that really wouldn't think because most of the time we think of it as a crisis or, you know, something very abruptly happening. This energy is going to make it apparent of there is action needed that is unmistakable. You have to take action on some things. So let's get right into it. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Patricia, located in Chicago, and my channel is about Twin Flame Ascension, Twin Flame Soulmates, Relationships, Health, Your Metaphysical Well-Being, and everything that goes with it, including romance. So let's get into it. One of the primary hallmarks of this energy of April is uh, an energy of fatigue. A lot of people are feeling fatigued. If you've never experienced fatigue, I could characterize it by saying you just feel tired no matter how much rest you get. You're just tired, tired, tired. You can't seem to get your energy back. Now, here is the odd thing for people who are on this journey. You try to get rest and you're trying to power through. And nothing you're doing seems to make a dent. There are larger things that are happening and this involves an influx of energy. So I'm going to talk to, uh, to you about that. Breakdowns of systems. Now this includes systems within your body that have been connected to actual systems. That system could be healthcare, it could be education, it could be money. A lot of it is going to be money, the draining of resources, financial drives, uh, feeling stuck financially, wondering where your retirement is, wondering how long this is supposed to go on and what you're doing, all kinds of things. On a larger scope, there are going to be little signs that can be big, but um, they may or may not disrupt your life to an extent. Power outages, power glitches, the power goes out briefly in your home, at your work, at while you're at a store, the power goes out, off on. The internet goes in and out. The phone and the internet drops. You're in the middle of a call, the phone drops. You're in the middle of a call, they can't hear you. You can't hear them. You know that the line hasn't been cut or the call hasn't really dropped, but you can't hear each other. Communication issues and unseasonable weather. So I'm here in Chicago We've had snow twice uh, ever since uh, the beginning of what should be our spring. And the flowers are coming up, which is unmistakable. That is something that you need to realize is that nature, to an extent, propels this along. You cannot fight nature. Okay, Please don't give in to the belief that there are dark energies or something messing with the weather. That is, weather is actually driven by sun, the solar flares, the rotation of the earth, and certain patterns that move and actually clean things. Okay, good storm can destroy things, but other winds and rain come in and cleanse things. So please don't give it to the fear mongers that are out there that are simply trying to sell advertising for someone else's stuff. It's a lot of that going on. There's a lot of... Uh, vague information, which is why I say that this is on a much larger scale, a uh, larger scope, okay? If it doesn't happen in your area, it's probably going to happen at some point during a change of season. I even said on one of my videos, beware the Ides of March. We're past March now, but there's still things to be a little bit aware of and wary of. Be alert. Be Pay attention. Not because there's danger, not because there's darkness, but because you need to rise above and you need to understand these signals that are coming in. An influx of starseed and new awakenings, particularly for men. Now, men, I know that usually you're not my core audience, okay? My core audience has been a lot of women wondering where you are, okay? Fear not because you too shall go through ascension symptoms, and some of those symptoms may seem very odd indeed. They won't make sense. You won't 
be able to connect the dots easily. And yet much of you, what you may real, realize that you're experiencing does have to do with your twin flame ascension, being with your twin, detaching from people. A lot of the world may be feeling spring fever and somehow you're not. That's a part of this. And believe me, there's things I wouldn't wish on people and yet they still experience it. So let's talk about, you know, what else is this energy bringing in besides fatigue? You can be feeling tired but wired. In other words, you feel that you have to keep going. You have a frenetic energy and yet you are just fatigued beyond fatigue. Okay, there are ways to alleviate that that I know because the first time it happened to me, believe me, I tried to power through it and that was a big mistake, big mistake. I had to receive my higher guidance from my higher self, multidimensional guidance as to what this was because there are two of you. You are a twin flame. You may not be able to account for everything that your twin is experiencing or doing even if you can look at the internet, which I don't recommend. Detach, detach from that social media. Stop looking up the people in person at their human frailties and foibles. So this fatigue has a lot to do with deepest grief and living like a corpse. To an extent, before you were awakened, you could probably look back and say, I was like not really alive. I wasn't really activated. I wasn't really woke. Okay, being woke doesn't mean going out and having angers and everything. It means doing the things that you have to do to get your new twin flame body open. That is why I'm teaching it. It is not a given. It happens for people. So all of the downloads you receive, like it or not, are not going to do that unless you open and participate in it. That is why I'm teaching this. That's why I'm teaching when you get feel like you get knocked down and you're going, hey, universe, I need energy to work. Why does it feel like that? So do you feel right now like you are living like a corpse? Are you a part of the walking wounded? Now, let's face it. All of us have had wounds. All of us have had traumas. All of us have had childhoods, bad situations, bad relationships, bad jobs, abusive things. And that's sometimes just this life and not your past lives. We can be feeling like these are post-war energies. There's insufficient things to go around. There's not enough. Resources are low. You're being drained. You can't even get on your feet again. Okay? And this is going to be true of people who've been connected to European wars, especially, which we've got one going on right now. And what I'm feeling about it is it's going to go on for two years. This is not over. In fact, this is a crisis that should have been nipped in 2014, but it wasn't. It's being addressed now. And it is not pretty. It is not pretty whatsoever. And these things come around so that they can be addressed again. Usually by many more people and resources so that they are well equipped to handle what will come up. And that's why you get awakened, but that is not the reason. That is one of the effects or the result of your awakening. So let's break this down now into physical things you can feel, metaphysical and emotional. Loss, loss of appetite. You might feel that you're hungry, but you don't really feel like eating. You don't know what you want to eat. You can lose your libido. You might feel, hey, maybe a little bit of romping and having some sexual attention that might, you know, do something for me, except it doesn't. And sometimes what you get is just weirdness, more weirdness of the world. Cramps, crampy feelings, cramps in the hips, cramps in the legs, cramps in the stomach, dizziness, dizziness around the head, vertigo, and you kind of know it's something different, okay? That is one of the hallmarks of this. Weakness in your joints, again, the fatigue and the weakness. You may go run on an errand and find that it absolutely just wipes you out and you are out of gas. You're running out of energy. Joint weakness. You feel to stay in bed. You awaken, you know that you slept for your six or eight or 10 hours. And yet, guess what? 
still you don't feel like getting out of bed. And the right hip and knee, because these are dimensional connections, I know exactly where it's connected. I know exactly how it should get moved, how to shift that. They give you pain. They give you cramps. You feel sticky, old injuries, um, especially if you've been pregnant and or the left hip. So either both. So it's either right and left hips and right knee. What are you not moving forward on? And lethargy, lethargy. This is a very, very strange energy because just when you think it should be spring, and when it happened to me, I was getting a little song message. Goodbye, my friends, it's hard to die when all the birds are singing in the sky. And you know what? It's like, it's really hard to feel like death when the rest of the world is seeming like they're playing and laughing and joyful and the birds are coming out and the animals are coming out and you'll see them. What about metaphysical? Your dreams. Your dreams are needing to be addressed because you need to get to a new level with your dream time. Your dream time is to include a lucid level for you. So your dreams can be strange. It can be violent. Metaphysically, you can feel aspects of past violence. You can have, uh, let's say, a sensation. A couple of people I talked to, they had a sensation that they had been clocked in the head. They had been hit in the head. Uh, a, someone pulling their arm, their hand. All right, movement above the head. You can't see anything, but you sense it. That is very important because that movement that's having to do with the energies. Your money connections. Okay, for some reason, your flow ain't go. You are not getting into the flow. You're not getting your abundance. And this is where it differs. The law of attraction for people that are still in a lower dimension is different than for people with a twin flame activation. If you are on the journey and you are a twin flame, you got to sync that up together. Both of you can't be broken and both of you need to flow again. No more broke, let's flow, okay? Money connections, and money can mean a lot of things. It mean, can mean income. It can mean setting up your retirement. It could be funding for a business. It could be expansion. It could be money that's owed to you. It could be so many aspects of your money connections or all of it, okay? And when this happens, I have ways for you to really focus on that. Not only that, but I get guidance on where that focus should specifically be. This is also an energy where you can kind of go back and finish some things that haven't been finished, such as an inheritance, a divorce, uh, money that's owed to you somehow, money that you need to review. And maybe you were, you know, doing the escaping and avoiding thing. No more escaping and avoiding. We have to do this stuff. We have to get this to ripple up and ripple out, not just, you know, get angry at politicians and banks and other places. They're ready, willing, and able to help you, but you got to find that angel person in there who is the person you need, not the big conglomerate, that one person who feels you with their heart and your stuck chakras. Many people, their metaphysical side, they will feel that there's a chakra stuck. There's something stuck. They can't flow. They're, they've reached a dead end. They've hit the wall. They're out of gas. They're running out. You can feel it. That's what your metaphysical side is for. So you can feel and sense and do and take actions with me because I know what to do. Emotions. Okay, what emotions can you feel in this energy with this? You can feel very serious or that life is very serious or that there's always a crisis. You're waiting for that day. How many of you are just simply in a holding pattern waiting for your twin to just reach out? Sorry to tell you this, but it doesn't work that way. Doing the work doesn't mean being dragged on the ground like this. Doing the work means get your twin flame body open. It is not a passive thing. It doesn't happen by default. You were invited here for it to happen. 
But if you're just waiting and dealing with crisis after crisis, you've got 10 things on your plate. Life is so serious. Hell yeah, there are things that need to be done. If so, I applaud you for being responsible and taking accountability and you send that emotion over to your other half who also should be accountable. But they need to be accountable for you and you need to be accountable for them. Yes, you are your lover's keeper. They're inside you. So as a twin flame, how do you get through the serious stuff to be and, and you know, have fun as you should? How do you get in that life's flow where it's not just harmonious and serene? Okay, because being zen about this stuff is not going to help you. You could feel deep sadness. It is through your twin flame body, which has many more connections. It has higher connections and it has shared connections. And I know about it. I know how to get people through this. Are you going to give in to the fact that you have chronic fatigue syndrome? Well, you might. Your numbers will show it. If you're going to a doctor, which I do recommend, I don't, we got to stop bashing the doctors. They're trained scientifically, but they are not metaphysicians, okay? That is the job of me and possibly some other people that I'm not aware of. But I know this stuff. I have lived through it. And not only have I lived through it, I've been through several cycles because I'm the charioteer. I am the person that aligns the light and dark to make you go forward. That is who I am. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's suffice it to say that I am a high level teacher and healer working as a multidimensional healer to get, I don't, it doesn't please me to see people like this. I like, I'm like, oh my God, people are suffering. What can we do? What can we do? Guide me, guide me. Okay. So deep sadness, deep, deep, deep sadness as though nothing's ever going to change loss of joy in life or what the French call joy de vivre. Where's your joy de vivre? Your joy in living, your joy of life. And for some people, they might say, I've never had it. I've had one bad relationship after another. I've got these kids I've got to take care of, or I failed in school. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, that is pervasive in the air because there's a lot of schools making decisions to accept or reject. There, there's only so many people that can fit in everywhere. The universe has a place for you, though. Joy in life. Do you have the energy of a widow or widower or a jilted bride? Have you been passed over? Are you seeing everyone around you getting married, getting engaged? They're with someone. Maybe you see it on the internet. You're like, geez, where's mine? You could even go down a list and say, I speak several languages, I'm a great cook, I keep the house neat, I am educated, I'm warm, I'm inviting, I'm humorous, I'm sensitive. You could go down the list, right? And why isn't someone with you? Aha, uh aha, -huh. uh -huh. okay. So you can't go by that. You have to go by your twin flame and there is that person for you, okay? And these things will get need to get out of you so that you can merge together properly. Widow, have you been, has someone, have you lost someone to death? Have you lost someone to illness and they're like a vegetable? Do you know how many times this has happened? Do you know what it really does to a relationship? Do you love someone who's an addict? Okay, ask yourself these questions. Do you have a sense nobody loves me? Are you ashamed of that? Do you need to prove it to your family? Do you wonder why, you know, or, or you're explaining to your mother, well, I'm, you know, I'm sorry I failed at the relationship game. I just can't seem to find anyone. Nobody asks me out or they ask me out. They're jerks and, you know, it goes nowhere. I wanted to get married. It didn't work out. Do you feel shame and feel like this is your shortcoming? What you should feel is that maybe your soul is looking out for you, okay? This all has a reason, and it takes about, when you work with your twin flame body, it can take about three weeks to get you out of it. For women, it is strongly tied with your creative zone. For men, it is tied with your reproductive zone. 
Have you killed your creations? You may feel depression with this. So to get started, what I do recommend is check out my website, which I've revamped it, twinflamesmerge.com. Reach out, have a one-on-one -on -one session. Have my tutorials. I always recommend certain webinars, tutorials, and uh, material that helps you open your twin flame body that is pertinent exactly for the energies that I'm doing the video in. Do these things go in cycles? Yes, which is why I'm saying if you don't get started, this could linger for six months. It's not easy to get out of that. It's not easy even despite medications. I've been doing this for years and I have worked with people who've been on medicine for certain things, who get their eight hours, who try all kinds of things with their diet. There are some simple things to do, but you have to do it and you have to be persistent and you can't mash it all up because being Zen, that's a thing of the past. You got to feel what you feel, okay? You don't lean into every feeling. If you're feeling this fatigue, trust me, you don't want to lean in so far you fall into it and they, you know, you need like a lift to get you out of there, right? This is important to know for the month of April. If you are in the United States around mid-month, hey, there's no extension on tax time, okay? We got to talk about money sometimes because people do this, okay? They're waiting for their Prince Charming or their queen of their existence to show up and fix everything for them. Not going to happen that way. Start taking charge. Get your taxes done. Yeah. It's a lot of frenetic activity in the air around that time. Absolutely. Do you want to have to? No. You need a good tax person. Do you know that in my classes we talk about some of that stuff, what you can do to minimize that stuff so that you're paying a little bit into the infrastructure and you're not being overly extended, okay? There's a lot that I know about this. There's a lot that I've been guided to help and teach you with. Okay, but just suffice it to say, watch for a peak of like really weird energy around that time because it's in the mind, it's in the atmosphere. People are nervous. It's a very nervous making thing. So thanks so much for watching. Please look at the links below. Get started. Other people do not have the twin flame modality that I have, the twin flame body modality, twin flame reconnection modality to get you going where you need to go. You can either drag it out for 10 years or you can get things done specifically in these, you know, waves of energy and ride the wave properly. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.